Hey guys, my name is Ty Rosamath and I live in Johnson, Rhode Island. It's finally the last week of the Sprint Spring Challenge and I started the challenge at 183 pounds and I'm currently sitting at 168 pounds. So I've lost 15 pounds while actually managing to get stronger. While it's definitely flown by, the last two weeks have been pretty difficult. Currently I work full time as a public affairs specialist for the Rhode Island National Guard and at night I'm working on creating a t-shirt business where I sell Rhode Island based tees and apparel. So while working a full time job and creating a business at night, being on a caloric deficit and training to transform my body has been definitely a challenge. There were definitely plenty of days I was just dragging my body from one place to the next but I expected that. I took on this challenge mainly because of the 50k purse but also because I love a good challenge. Honestly at the start of the competition. I didn't think I could make a drastic change to my body in just eight weeks. I was in okay shape to begin with, so to make a noticeable physical transformation in eight weeks seemed unrealistic. But I guess that's why I signed up. I just love proving to myself that I have what it takes to do whatever I have to do and learn more about myself in the process. Years ago, I was injured during a deployment in Afghanistan and spent 10 months at the Walter Reed Army Medical Center rehabbing my left leg and hip. Uh, I was shot in my leg and, dur and due to my injury will never run again, which took away a goal of making the infantry a career. It was really a low point in my life where I felt like I lost purpose and a bit of my identity. I loved to run. Um, I would run for an hour plus every other day. I had plans of going to ranger school and if and when I did get my ranger tab, wanted to have a tattoo of, of crosshair tattooed on my elbow. It was to signify and celebrate a big accomplishment in my life. The, that I hit a goal that I wanted for so long. But of course, if you can't run, then you can't be in the infantry. And that also meant that I would never get my shot at earning my ranger tab. During my recovery at Walter Reed, uh, I found that having goals, as small or as stupid as they were, helped me shift my focus from what I couldn't do to what I could do. Setting goals lifted my spirits and helped me focus on what I could gain instead of what I lost. So when I wasn't um, rehabbing my leg or at a doctor's appointment, um, I, was, I was studying to become a certified personal trainer. <laughs> Not because I wanted to train people, because at one point in my life, getting that cert was something I really wanted to do. Um, I was studying Italian because I really enjoy the language, and eventually one day, I plan on going back to visit the country. Um, during a two-week leave, I even participated in a 5K of my family. Uh, I was walking, of course. Um, unconsciously, I realized that having having goals gave me a purpose and a mission. So I decided to get the tattoo of the crosshair on my elbow anyways. In the video, I talked about my tattoo. Uh, yeah. You're definitely more ripped. I don't know. I don't know how to pose. I've never had a pose. Before. Yeah, it's just flexing, I guess. Um, the tattoo symbolizes my commitment to finding purpose, to setting goals, to always aiming to be a better person. So uh, eventually I went on to do a half Ironman, a full Ironman, and even uh, participating in a double Ironman. Recently I have signed up to um, do a Spartan Ultra this fall. I don't say any of this to impress you. I say all this to express to you how much I truly do enjoy participating in challenges, um, finding ways to stretch myself, to just get out of my comfort zone. I mean, even being in front of this camera, I'm, I I generally don't like being in front of the camera, but uh, I really do and did appreciate um, this challenge. And uh, I just wanna say thanks guys.